वेलकम टू कैडी स्टेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ स्लाइडर क्रैंक मैकेनिज्म इन विच वी विल ड्रॉ फोर टू फाइव पार्ट्स एंड देन असेंबल देम एंड डू मोशन अफेक्ट ऑन देम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड ओके एंड वी आर गोइंग टू फर्स्ट स्लाइड पार्ट फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच अवर फर्स्ट पार्ट इज फ्रेम डेट वी विल ड्रॉ ऑन फ्रंट प्लेन फॉर दिस आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट सेंटर एक्टेंगल this time i'm not going to draw on the origin one rectangle and then a second rectangle okay <clears throat> now next time i'm going to draw a circle select circle from the center make a uh, two circles of same centers and now line from this one to outer circle from this end to outer circle and then escape now we are going to mention dimensions the external or the height you can say it is 30 mm our uh, system of unit is millimeters uh, this is uh, 30 mm and this one is 180 mm <clears throat> now next is from here to here distance is 20 mm and from here to here distance is 8 mm okay now next from here to here this is also 20 mm but we have to make it of 8 mm we'll we will do it later okay we will do it by simply delete this rectangle okay yes delete these diagonals also now center rectangle but this time don't uh, draw on the same point we will draw like this smart dimension <clears throat> now from here to here distance is 20 mm from here to here is 8 mm from here to here is 8 mm and now this time here to here is also 8 mm now it is going to be done now next is from find the midpoint yeah here to the center it's 40 mm the outer circle is of 15 mm dia and the inner one is of 5 mm okay you can uh, make it of 6 mm also no uh, that's not a problem and now next is okay everything is done select this point and take it here so it's going to be smooth mm, yeah everything is done now i'm going to extrude it features extrude boss base this time we have to select the contours first one second one and this one is going to be 10 mm okay and okay it's done now press control 7 for isometric view or control 8 for normal now this time appearance or you can first give them some materials for this um let's make it of mm, metals steel or chrome okay let's check chrome okay it's going to be this color or oh, a little bit dark and it's okay now this is our frame control s to save them and we are going to save in desktop and slider crank mechanism it's our part 1 you can say as it's our frame that's going to be fixed and now next again file and new we have to draw the next part which is the slider for this again front plane sketch it's simple 
make a rectangle a smart dimension give them as this one is 13 mm and this one is 30 mm and make a circle here and it is of 5 mm dia it's 5 mm okay now simply extrude it you have to extrude it up to same 10 mm okay now you can give them color and i'm going to give them a red color here this one and you can select some material chrome same and then this color okay now control s and save it as slider okay now next part is our go to part and let's draw sli uh, cranks or you can say levers for this i'm going to front plane a sketch now this time we have to draw a slot from origin make a slot and make two circles one here one here press escape and select these two circles and make a relation equal now small dimension its dimension is this one is 120 mm these circles are of 5 mm as we have put in our last one and finally this one is okay from here to here is 10 mm and we have to extrude it up to 10 mm okay or you can make it off it's looking uh, more weight so i'm going to make it off 6 mm okay now uh, mention it chrome we have uh, we are going to made all parts of same material that is chromium plate and now appearance and put it off yellow color okay control s and now save it as long or large lever or you can say support now next again we have a part and this time it's same as the previous one but its length is less than the last one make a slot two circles one here and one here press escape select these two circles look it's going to be uh, uh, blue equal now a smart dimension this one is of 50 mm okay and this circle is of 5 mm same and its height is also 10 mm and simply extrude it same 6 mm we have done 6 mm so here also 6 mm and okay now this time mention its color and i'm going to put it as chromium plate and for color it's going to be blue okay blue color and control s it's short okay it's done now next we have a pin mm, again new part front plane yeah sketch pin is very simple make a circle we have made all holes of 5 mm so make it of 5 mm and extrude it up to 20 mm okay chromium plate and put it dark black color okay control s it's our pin now we have to assemble them and 
check its movement assembly first turn it on turn it on okay now we have to okay wait a minute let we have to insert these all components this one from here to here one two three okay and the last one let's run now we have to made uh, made them okay first we have a from assembly made command this one and this one is going to be coincident okay now one more thing you can see yeah frame is fixed so it can move like this mate the top one rotate it the top one it's going to be here uh, one more thing can press this and control it you can see there is a gap so we have to not mention it as coincident delete this now you can see it's moving now you have to select this one select this face and now this time distance map mid and 0.05 or again uh, 0.5 we have make one of them's distance now next is control 7 for isometric view it's moving here now next we have to this one and this one as concentric okay now this face rotate it this face coincident okay control 7 again for isometric view now this time this one and this one as concentric okay and this face rotate it and this face is going to be coincident control 7 again for isometric view now this hole and this hole is going to be concentric and this pin is going to be used here there is a gap so this one and you can select this one or this one both are concentric it's done now this one and this now control 7 all mates are done you can check control 8 check here yeah it's working properly now control 7 isometric view and we are going to motion study one and here first uh, one more thing model we have to go to uh, first close this model we have a setting here document properties and image quality put it here and okay now motion study settings from here select basic motion and in basic motion you can put uh, as much as you want i'm going to mention it as 150 frames per second it's too high and okay now motor effect you can put motor effect anywhere that's uh, that you want to work but i want to move this uh, i want to rotate this lever so i am going to put it here and it's counterclockwise okay it's a speed i am going to mention it as 25 rpms and okay now calculate it and it's working now take it to 14 seconds and now again calculate it and it's yeah you can see it's working very nice so this slider mechanism is uh, very useful in different mechanical uh, objects or mechanical simple machines this concept is going to be used so if you want uh, more mechanisms or uh, it uh, will be on slider mechanism then you can uh, 
uh, you can give me a idea or you can send your idea to me then i will try to put it in cad hopefully you will understand the tutorial if still you have any problem then you can ask me on comment section i will try to answer you and uh, share this tutorial to your friends and also subscribe to cat station thank you